past seven days have been crazy. We launched Sub. We also launched Jacob's Dev Club. We've got a whole lot of devs in there already. All the devs in there, shout out to you guys, you know who you are. If you're not already in the Dev Club, join down below. But today, the build continues. We are building new features, new things, core functionality that needs to go in to Sub. So I'm gonna get to that in a second. First, let's get some coffee. Thank you. Oh yeah, we got the goods. We got like 500 users within the first like 72 hours on sub, which was insane. My dev club's gone through the roof. Now we're at a point where I'm talking to real users. My priority is talking to real creators, solving their exact needs. And today I've got some core things that I need to implement for those people. We've got some meetings. We just got code to write. So let's go and get it. business of things. So how did this launch actually go? And the coolest part is, I didn't really even launch. Like, the only thing I did was post on YouTube. But as far as numbers, in the first 72 hours, we had 486 signups. That's people claiming their own sub link. We processed just under 500 US dollars of subscription revenue. The platform is now technically profitable. Guys, I have a profitable business. And we've got a ton of people in my dev club already. So like, guys, Week one, I'm pretty happy with that. Haven't even remotely touched marketing and we already have people in the door. Now where it gets really interesting is the product going forward. And this is where I've got to be super ruthless with my time and my resource and where my focus is for actually building. And the thing is like, you can imagine with a product like this, where there's a lot of kind of like engagement driven action required for a platform like this to take off. For example, you claim a sub URL, you share it with your audience, people subscribe, you earn money, you're very happy, that's great. But if people don't take that action, if people don't one, share the link, and then two, subscribe to those links, nothing's happening to the platform. So what I have to do and what I'm wanting to prioritize and what I am prioritizing is talking one-on-one -on -one with creators, figuring out exactly the thing that makes them tick, the thing that they need most as a creator, and trying to build custom solutions for these people. Now this doesn't mean that I'm going away from sub or anything like that, no, 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 no. I'm talking about instead of me just guessing what the product should be on sub, it's me just talking to real users and then implementing. That's kind of as far as I'm going with that. So what does that look like? Well, core functionality will include things such as an analytics dashboard where you can see all your like total revenue for the month and your subscriptions and your charts and your recent users, stuff like that. Basic stuff that you would expect with like a subscription revenue earning platform for a creator. And after having some like really interesting conversations with creators over the past seven days, there's been some interesting insights that I fully skipped over just because I'm not them. Including, here's the first one. I don't use Discord much, but it's where I'd wanna host my community. The setup of a custom Discord server is almost too hard where I just left the entire onboarding process. I didn't even think about that because I've used Discord for years. So of course, like I would just set up my server and connect it to sub, like, but, what if there was a way, there's one button, they click it, it generates them an entire Discord server with the sub bot integrated with like permissions, roles, it's all beautiful, ready to go, and it's got like a few demo channels, just ready for the creators, so they don't need to do anything. That's the first thing. The UX kind of experience needs to improve to the point where it's so stupidly easy to get onto sub as a creator, it's not funny. That's where I'm going with it. So that's the first thing. Another one was multiple tiers. People want to be able to have a free trial, they want to be able to have a cheaper tier, they want to have a slightly more expensive tier and offer different roles for like a Discord server, which is really cool. That's another feature that I can add. And if I just started guessing features that creators want, how would I have potentially ever gotten to these features as a priority? I would have focused on all these other things. And so lesson for today, for any of you builders out there, anyone who is building a startup, building a business, 
anything. Talk to your customers. Talk to the people that are actually using your platform. Understand what they want most. And what's really cool is I've actually got four meetings that I booked in yesterday. Two of them are with people that manage creators. Two of them are actually with big creators. So that's pretty cool. And New York, man, the place to be for meeting creators. So I'm excited. Okay, so what does today look like then? Well, it's Friday. We're ending the week strong. I'm feeling pretty good because with no marketing, we've already got a little bit of traction, which is cool. But today, as far as coding, I'm finishing this dashboard. I need all my endpoints for my backend, pulling in the user's analytics. Revenue, subscriptions, subscription prices, all the transactions, recent user data. I want to be able to manage, sort by date, select specific date periods, display that data. That's great for the creator. That alone will be a huge plus for anyone on the platform because all of a sudden they can just like be in charge of their revenue. They can see everything that's going on. Number two, I'm gonna actually initialize the draft Discord template that I'm gonna be building for sub. The thing that has the sub bot already integrated, has the channel set up, the premium roles, everything is good to go as like a base template. And what I wanna do is have that at least as a template that I can start putting into my user experience flow. Ideally what it would look like is someone comes in, they sign up to sub, they claim their username, and then it's gonna ask them, do you already have a Discord or do you wanna generate one right now? Finally, and most importantly, on a non-code front, I need to reach out to more creators. I've been emailing everyone, and I'm talking about everyone, man. Anyone that would remotely be interested in starting a paid community, I've been reaching out to. And this is for all of you out there that are watching. If you're a creator or you know someone that's a creator that might be interested in starting a paid community, hit me up, reach out, because sub, my goal is to build the perfect solution for creators like you. Send me an email or just join Jacob's Dev Club below. Anyway, I need to get into the code. Let's go build some endpoints in my Nest.js backend for the analytics page. Once we've done that, we can integrate it and we're good to go. I've also got a meeting at 11, so we need to get started. All right, let's go. Okay, Monday morning. We've just done a time travel over the weekend. Look at this. I'm in active wear. 8 a.m. right now. It's feeling super warm. And we are jumping back into the build today. Now what's really interesting and something that I've been thinking about over the weekend for specifically the build and the startup that I'm building is in its current state, it's cool. It allows people to come in, they can connect a external third party platform such as Discord or Telegram or Slack or any of those so that they can create their paid exclusive premium community there. And that is cool. But what if there was a dedicated 10X version where almost that entire setup is gone and you don't actually have to choose a dedicated platform anymore. There's actually almost the solution that is ready to go out of the box. Hmm. I've been doing a lot of thinking over the weekend, getting very inspired, even bought some whiskey last night to you know, have that late night whiskey session. So anyway, we're gonna head into the office. We need some work done. I've got three meetings booked in today. Three potential people that could be interested in using the app and just like learning as well. So it's gonna be a big one. All right, let's get going. So there's this thing as a solo founder and that's which I can just move and I can make decisions and I can act and deliver. I can do everything as a solo founder. Now the downside is when you start questioning things that you're working on and whether or not those are the most important things that you should be doing. And this is something that I constantly like and, and they talk about as well in the market for like solo founders out there is be careful about the decisions you make and the reasons that you make them. Because let's just say I start doubting an idea that I've been working on and then I start working on this other thing over here. That's where you've got to be really careful. That's absolutely fine to do that kind of thing and make a change. But if you haven't critically thought about 
why you're moving from there to there based on like, for example, a customer opinion or doing some further market research, then what are you doing? And so I'm faced with this dilemma now where I've got a lot of different things happening. I'm talking to a lot of different customers. I'm getting a lot of information and I'm having to essentially draft this document that lists all the feedback and figure out where these kind of critical points of interest are. And so where a lot of my thinking over the weekend has been, yes, this idea is awesome. Yes, this idea is cool and I believe in it. And like, sure, I came into this program being like, yeah, we're gonna go hard at this. I believe, I fundamentally believe that the future of community is clubs. It is people coming together. And so I have some really exciting ideas. I'm not gonna share them right now of to how we can facilitate that, how I can build something that facilitates that better than what already exists right now in the market, especially for paid communities. At the same time, I've gotta be very careful. I'm making decisions based on data, based on facts, based on things that real customers and real people that would use these kind of things would want, which is why today, I've got three meetings booked in with people that are working with creators or are creators. I'm talking to as many people as I can. I've got a big creator over in New Zealand that I'm talking to right now. But most importantly, and this is where the caveat is, I think in the end, it also comes down to gut feel how much conviction you have in a specific idea or path that you're about to take. And for me, when I feel something, I know that that feels different than anything else. And this thing that I've been talking with Maddie over the weekend about that we've just been getting really excited is something that just does not exist right now. And I think there is so much potential to actually create mad value for creator and club community spaces. There is a way in which I think that current products don't currently meet all the needs for what people want in creator community club spaces. And also for the person that commented on my video on the weekend and said, dude, did you just launch a landing page and call it a startup? No, like the, that's my personal sub. Sub allows you to create that with the checkout, oh my gosh. And also for all of you that are commenting, hey, this is really cool, what's your tech stack? Guys, I, it's almost a meme at this point. I list my tech stack in, in almost every video. So that just tells me that you're not watching the video. So go watch it. We're actually gonna be a little bit sensible this morning. Ice water. I beat him in. I finally beat him into the office. How you doing, bro? Okay, my goodness, today has been absolutely wild. Talking to a lot of people in the creator space, people that are building in New York, people that are just creators, people that are just doing stuff in general as an influencer, as a person of interest. The insight has been absolutely insane. The people I've been talking to have a specific problem in where they know that they could be making more money online as a creator. They know that they could be starting a Patreon, starting a circle and uploading a course, starting a school and like doing all this other stuff. But there is this overwhelming sense that it is almost too hard. And this is something that I really didn't think about when I first launched Sub. And some of the conversations that I've had have been fascinating over the weekend. They are like, look, I'm never ever going to use Discord or Telegram in my life, and I never have. And so I'm going, hang on a second, that's like half of this product right now. Then we've got people who like wouldn't use Slack because it's made for work. They wouldn't use, they wouldn't use WhatsApp because it's got a cap of a thousand people and they want to grow a community that's larger than a thousand. So I'm thinking, what on earth do we do? What if there was a dedicated space for creators and people of interest? to build these tight-knit communities. It feels like some of those apps, but it's not those apps. It is dedicated for this exact purpose with a paywall and everything ready to go. And my Notion doc that I've got like on my computer right now is just full of all the wants and needs and all the exact things that would make this a die-hard experience for these creators. So yeah, like it's only just getting started. I'm gonna keep building. It is three o'clock. And we've got a few more hours of brain space where I can just get some stuff out there into the code editor. See you guys soon.
think overall though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on what I've already been building out and what I have already built out, which is an amazing way to connect your Discord, your Telegram, your WhatsApp, your Slack to a paywall so that you can like have your paid community come in and it's super easy and amazing, cool. I think I'm just gonna keep building that out because at this stage, there are people that want that and that is fantastic. And there is room down the road to expand into like a dedicated solution for people that don't use any of those platforms or want to host with any of those platforms for their paid community. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on what I have been, keep implementing on that, keep talking with real customers and people that are trying to get on board and make the experience better and make the onboarding flow easier and all of the above. And so what that looks like is a lot of analytics, a lot of onboarding flow cleanup, a lot of connection tidy up and making things easier. I think in the end, it's very easy to get something up and running, get it to like 90%, but that last 10% is where it gets the hardest. So that's where I've got to just kind of optimize for these initial experiences, which in this case is mainly Discord. And that's where I've launched my dev community. Once again, if you haven't already joined, jump down into Jacob's Dev Club below. A whole lot of developers, we just build projects, talk about tech, it's awesome, jump in. But yes, dog fooding my own product, making it better, trying to make the entire experience for a creator, coming on board and building their paid community as best I can. That's what this week's gonna look like. Otherwise, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next vlog.